Hey guys, so I'm back with my first at home workout. Um, I don't have time to make it to the gym because I've had a long day at work. I was traveling to Fredericton, so I'm back. It's late, so I'm gonna get in a quick leg workout because Monday's legs for me. So I'm gonna do 30 minutes of different lunges and squats, okay? So my goal in this workout was really just to get my legs moving, hit every angle. So the front quads, the back glutes, uh, the inner and the outer thigh as well. So really I wasn't doing any set rep range. Um, as you can see, I was mainly doing body weight. So I just really went until my legs felt really tight, really sore. And then I would come up with some, some next exercise. So here you can see I'm switching over to the other leg um, and I try to keep the same reps if I did about 30 on one side, I tried to do 30 on the other, but really it varied anywhere from, you know, 20 to 50 reps. I was watching the clock very religiously, <laughs> just I really had to push through to make it to my 30 minutes. Um, and here I'm just changing it up a little bit, taking my foot off the couch, and now just doing a regular split squat. The wider you take this one, um, the more you're gonna feel it in your glutes. So, great exercise when you have no equipment. Quick little water break here. I really didn't want to take any rest during this workout. So I kept the water break really short, less than a minute, and I got right back to my workout. So here I'm doing a variation of a squat, just really sitting down and getting back up. You can see I'm holding a little bit of a plate just to make um, this exercise a little bit harder. It did take me forever to feel the burn on this one. I think I went up to about 100 reps. Um, so to make this harder, you could really just squat even lower um, and get down to something that might not be as high as a couch, so maybe a lower chair or something like that. So as I said, I just kept going until I felt the burn. All right, here I just did standing calf raises where I'm lifting my heel off the ground, coming all the way back down and repeating. Um, I think I did about 75 reps here. I just kept going up and down fairly fast until I really felt the burn. So here I'm incorporating a reverse lunge. I want to get my heart rate back up, really feel the, the burn throughout my legs. Uh, most people do a front lunge, but to hit every angle of your legs, you really want to incorporate going backwards as well. So my legs are tiring a little bit faster than I expected. I'm 15 minutes in and I'm just gonna start incorporating any type of movement I want. So this exercise really works um, your glute, so right there I'm working the right side of my butt and the outer leg on my right leg. 
So to really feel it, you've got to go high, high rep range. Maybe start at 40, but here I'm doing anywhere between 50 and, and um, 75 reps. So now I'm hitting the opposite side. I'm in a different position, but still with the same focus on the um, glute and outer thigh. And now back into that basic first position, just really kind of playing around, trying to find the best angle where I can feel the most burn. This is one of my favorites, hip bridge or hip thruster. It really just burns every angle of your legs, your butt. Try it out. Here, straight leg, hitting the back of the leg, so the hamstring, still working that glute. I'm just having a little bit of fun here. I've got less than five minutes left. So I'm just trying to hit um, the back of the legs because I do find that is one of the harder areas to hit. And this is a great exercise. Um, in the gym, you could technically be holding or wrap a weight around your ankle and that will make it a lot harder. But without weight, you're gonna have to go high, high reps to feel the burn. So here I had just over two minutes of work left. So I incorporated a plie squat, which hits those glutes, inner thigh, outer thigh. And I added in a little calf raise there because I was getting a little tired. So it just gives you a little bit more of a breather. And I did this for the last two minutes. Didn't count my rep range. I just kept going until the clock hit 30 minutes. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my Facebook site, Michelle Zari Fitness.